Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we've got Gunslinger Evacuation Point Suicidal. And today I've been reading that Medical Return manual a little bit. I'm almost at the end. There's 99 or 100 chapters or something. And uh, it's continuing to be really, really good. It's, uh, as I said before, the, um... There, 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 you know, it's still a manual. There, there is still some, some semblance of, uh... Some uh, like fantasy in it, of course. It's, it's about a person who like came back in time and got to do his life over. There's, it's obviously not going to be totally, um, you know, realistic. It's, it's not like it's just a normal medical thing. Like there, there there's reincarnation kind of taking place here. So there, there's definitely some high fantasy kind of stuff going on in the background. Um, but I, I, I kind of like that because it kind of gets to, to explain away a lot of the uh, the issues that I have with the Manwa. Um, just just by nature of like, well, yeah, you know, of, of course it would work out in his favor all the time because he's been reincarnated, you know, and and these other issues which which aren't necessarily going to be any easier just because he's been reincarnated aren't aren't being fixed as as easily. And, uh, kind of makes for an, an, an interesting take on the, on the genre, I say. It's been, it's been mighty enjoyable. I'm getting close to the end, though, which is a disappointment. Um, I'm gonna see if there's maybe a light novel for this, but, uh, this one kind of feels like it's, it's not gonna have a light novel. This one feels like it's, it's an original work, um, straight at the, the manual level. So I, I don't think there's going to be a light novel, but there might be. I'm going to take a look. Just doesn't feel like it, but I, I've been wrong before. I'd really like to read it though, if there is, because I, I want to. I want to read it and see how everything goes. There's, there's a lot of um, things happening in the world so that uh, that there's just no way they'll be cleared up in in you know another 15, 20 chapters or whatever that I have. I'd love to uh, to be able to read it and, and see these these things kind of cleared up and uh, come to conclusions and have all the the loose ends kind of tied up. Um, a lot of things going on that just just aren't you know it's it's sort of like the main plot arcs of the uh, of the story you know like the main thing. There's a lot of sort of like sub arcs sort of you know I don't know what the the term for it is. I'm not a I'm not a you know an English major or whatever. I'm not a literature major. You know it's not really my kind of thing. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, th there's all these sub arcs that are going on with, with other sort of like, you know, you, you, you got your, your conflict and your resolutions and all that. But then there, there's kind of the overarching, you know, from the start of the, the whole Mon Weathers, there's this. Um, you know, conflict and uh, you know troubles and and stuff that that the main character has to face. That uh, you know, when, once those are dealt with, is is kind of you know the end of the manhwa, or at least the end of what you'd expect it to be. Anyway, they might continue it after that. I don't know. I don't know if it really got the popularity necessary to to do that, or, or if the uh, the the writer would even want to. Because you know, oftentimes what happens with a lot of series is. Uh, you know, they'll, the first season, or the first book, or whatever, will be solid. Like, really, really good. You know, just like, start to finish, just like, really, really awesome. And, uh, you know, there isn't really any loose ends, everything's pretty well cleaned up. And then, all of a sudden, it like, exploded in popularity, and the publisher, or whoever, is like, We have to milk this! Give me another one! You know? And uh, the second, you know, at that point in time, it's not like the the writer or whoever had had ideas for it to go on past that, right? Like these these things weren't kind of like set in stone from the beginning, so you have to like just make up new stuff, <laughs> right? Like it's just like a whole new thing, except all of a sudden it's it's season two, and, and now you've got uh, you know out of nowhere some some new, you know. Um, person that, that they're chasing after or some new um, goal that they're trying to chase after that just had nothing to do with the story before that just like completely out of like left field you know and uh, 
You're just kind of watching it, you're like, I don't know. I mean, it's still kind of good to see the characters and stuff, but... You know, if this were the only one, then I, I don't know, it probably wouldn't be watchable. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't be worth watching, rather. Watchable, of course, but not really worth watching. You know, so the first season's really good, and the second season's not so great. And then they just keep milking. It happened to, uh, to House of Cards, I believe. Like, in a big way. Because that one exploded in popularity, and they ended up getting, like... What, six or seven seasons out of it? The first, like, one or two seasons were awesome. And then they just kept being, like... Well, we just have to, like... Make something up so that we have... You know, something else going on. And I'm just like, I don't know, dude, like... Could've just ended it and made a new series. <laughs> you know, like... Probably would've been more successful, in my opinion. But people will still watch it, I guess. Because they, uh... You know, I, I don't know. I, I guess what happens is people watch, you know, the first season. Then it's, like, set in their mind that this is a good show. You know? And, uh, they, they can butcher it, you know, to an extent. And, uh, people's opinions won't change because they're just not thinking about it, you know? Like, they watch it and they're like, this is a good show. And then they keep watching it and it gets worse and worse and worse. But they never think about it until it gets to a point where they're just like, what the heck am I watching? Like... When did lightsabers come into, you know, Pokemon? Like, what the heck? When, when, like, how did we get here? And then they start to think about it and be like, yeah, I don't know. It kind of, like, went downhill from season two. Um, but, you know, you, you can butcher it up to a certain extent. Before, before most people will really even notice that you're ruining it. I just have a higher class of culture to be able to recognize this early. <laughs> No, but I, 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 uh, I'm, I'm typically fairly critical of works that I, uh, that I read. I mean, I don't know if you noticed. I, uh, you know, anytime I'm reading something or watching something or whatever, I, I typically talk about it for, like, a few episodes even, going into my feelings about it. And this isn't something that, that I only do because I need content for, for the series. You know, it's good that it gives me content. I, I appreciate that, but, uh, you know, I, 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 uh, I kind of go over these things in my head anyway while I'm watching it and just naturally I, I just I, I tend to, to analyze how much I'm enjoying things maybe too much but uh, I don't know like there, there was a point in my life where I would do a lot of that kind of stuff you know just just kind of like decide that something's good and then watch it and then it just wasn't good after like you know a, a little bit of watching it and it's just like at a certain point I just kind of realized that like I don't know I, I just feel like I'm wasting time and uh, it just feels bad. So I, uh, I like I like to make sure that whatever I'm doing, if I'm doing it for fun anyway, if I'm doing it for leisure, for enjoyment, if it's just a, a thing that I'm doing because I, I want to have some time, I want to make sure that it's fulfilling that purpose, that I'm actually accomplishing what I set out to do with, with whatever it is that I'm trying to do. And, uh, you know, with, with watching a, a series or reading a book or, or, or whatever, um... You know, I want to make sure that I, it's, it's for fun, right? I want to make sure that I'm having fun as I'm watching it. And if I'm not, then I'm not going to keep watching it. I, I've ended a lot of shows and, and books and stuff before I get to the end of it. Because I just... It, it ends up getting to a point where I'm just like, this is just... It's not good anymore. I'm not I'm not enjoying this. Like, the only reason I'm reading it is to to finish the story. But I don't think that that's really... For me, anyway, I don't, I don't think that that's a... A healthy reason to, to be committing to something. I think that that's just contributing to, to like addictive personality and stuff. You know, like it's it's a bigger problem than than I want to deal with. So uh, I, I tend to be a little bit more analytical. I think of uh, of the content that I consume than, than most people, and I can say that with confidence. I don't think it makes me a better person. You know. If, if you're enjoying content and you're like, yeah, I know it's bad, but like, yeah, whatever, it's I just enjoy it. I'm mad respect. You know? I mean, I do that too, but it's not really the right way to describe it. If, if you're just kind of like enjoying something and you're like, I know it's worse, I'm not really having fun, but I want to see how it goes. You know, you do you. I don't care. You know, there's no right answer. It's just, uh, for me personally, I, 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 uh, I like to make sure that I'm enjoying what I do. If I'm doing it for fun. You know, I have to go and get a, a doctor's appointment and I'm gonna have to get surgery done and all this kind of stuff these aren't things that I'm gonna necessarily enjoy the process of you know but uh, you know you got to do it right like it's just it's 
what you gotta do. You don't really get to not do it. You don't have to enjoy it, so like I said, it's just whatever the purpose is that I'm trying to to accomplish. I, I like to make sure that I'm, I'm at least working towards that. Anyway, um... So I'll hopefully see if I can read the, uh... To the light novel if it exists. I don't think it would. It really doesn't seem like one where one would exist. How do I how do I know what gets you feeling? I don't know, dude. Like I don't really have any definitive thought on it. I just kind of like I'm looking at it and I'm like I don't know. It doesn't really give me the feeling of uh, of uh, of a manga that's based on a light novel, you know? Like you just you just kind of get a feeling for it. And it's not an accurate feeling. Like I said, I've been, I've been wrong before. I'm wrong quite often. But uh, typically, if I had to give some kind of like reason, I really don't have one. Um, it's that uh, romance is almost a hundred percent of the time based on a light novel. There are very few romance manhwa that aren't based on a light novel. Um, anything that's isekai or whatever is is almost always going to be based on a light novel, or a romance is based on light novel, or oftentimes games too, like uh, um, the visual novel stuff. Uh, both of those. Uh, Isekai is typically based on um, light novels as well. It's typically a writer who just is like, I don't know, I want to write an Isekai, and then they go do it, and then it gets popular, and then somebody draws a bunch of stuff for it, and there's your there's your, your manhwa, manga, or whatever, right? Uh, and then things that kind of like don't fall into either of those categories like super, super well are a little bit more iffy. Um, so Medical Return... It just kind of feels kind of like it doesn't really fit into those two categories. It's kind of like reincarnation, which is kind of isekai, but uh, not really. Um, it's like literally not, but it's kind of like similar-ish, you know? Similar kind of idea, anyway. Um, yoink. Uh... So I don't know, I'm like, it, it probably doesn't have a light novel. It might, though. You're usually, you're, your safe bet is usually that it does. Because uh, most most manhwa and, and manga and, uh, you know, whatever else you want to read, typically they're based on, on a novel, on a light novel. Typically the way the, uh, like the, the sort of just, I don't know, like development cycle for these things goes is, uh, you know, one person will write something in their spare time for a bit, and then it gets super popular, and then they end up, like, doing it as a job, or, uh, you know, they get, uh, published somewhere or something like that. And then, uh, some magazine will hit them up and be like, hey, we should, uh, like, you know, maybe match you up with, uh, an artist or something like that. You know, I don't know exactly how it goes from that point, but, uh... They end up uh, finding an artist to, to draw for them, getting it published in a, in a magazine of some sort, and then, uh, or with the result with the uh, with with uh, the Manwa stuff, they're typically webtoons, so they're digitally drawn and then published on uh, um, the internet. You know, you don't really get like a you know, you can't really go to a bookstore and buy a uh, buy a webtoon. It doesn't really work that way. It's just a web comic, but to Korean. Um, and then, you know, you end up getting the manhwa or manga or whatever, and, uh, then that gains popularity, and then you get an anime, and then that gains popularity, and then you get a, you know, live-action movie, and that does not gain popularity, and it all just kind of dies down from that point. They just start pumping out a bunch of, uh, you know, merch items and stuff to, to hopefully make back some of the lost, um... On the uh, on the movie, and uh, eventually you end up getting a you end up getting a collaboration with some MMO somewhere, probably Maple Story. If you're really popular, Maple Story does a lot of anime collaborations. They've had uh, ReZero, uh, Attack on Titan, Sword Art Online. Um, 
few others too. I can't remember all of them, but uh, they, they get a lot of uh, anime crossover stuff. Vintage. It's good fun on occasion when, when you get the when, when it's an anime that you watched and you like, and then it's like a game that you play and you like. And then uh, you get like a crossover. I guess, I guess it doesn't have to be an anime. Whenever it's like uh, any you know media property that you like, and any media property that you like, um, that that end up doing like a crossover, it's usually pretty exciting. When it's like one way, you know, just like we did a crossover with this person. I'm like, I don't know who that person is, and uh, I'm just gonna skip this part. <laughs> uh, it's not. It's okay. I'm good. On occasion, it's it's like really really cool actually. Uh, when you don't know, because it's a great way to to like learn about new places and and uh, new people and stuff, and new creators and and all that when they do these crossovers. Really, really great way to to learn about new creators. The issue, for me anyway, is that a lot of the time, the the content that I take part in is the more popular content. You know, to, like that's you, you know, generally speaking, that's the likely scenario, right? Just the the sample size is a lot larger, right? The 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 the, the population there is is uh, much much greater. Um, so you end up with uh, a likelihood of it being the popular media property that you're part of, um, and then the 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 less popular media property is uh, generally less popular for a reason. You know, <laughs> it's usually not as good, in my opinion, anyway. Um, I was reading, what was it? What was it called? I can't remember what it was you called can't. anymore. There was like a, a light novel on that like English web novel site uh, that I also have a story on, Shara's Many Faces. I'm not really updating it much. I'm probably going to write episode three, or uh, episode, um, chapter three soonish I don't know I'm writing it whenever I want it'll have a bunch of chapters eventually read dialogue now and I'm like I don't know how I want to do dialogue so I have to, have to figure anyway I was reading um Azerinth healer was what it was called that's an amazing web novel by the way I highly recommend you read it it's uh, original English really really well written well I don't know not really really well written but I really love the story um, it's fantastic and uh, I love it so if, if you're into, um, it's it's a lit RPG, so it's a, it has like stat blocks and stuff in it on occasion. You, you can like see their skills and abilities and all that kind of stuff laid out on uh, on occasion. Uh, and the character like raises their stats and, and all this, right? Um, if you're into that kind of stuff, if you like that, Azerinth Healer is a fantastic book. It's really long. It's like 500 some odd chapters. It's so good though. I love it. Um, I, I talked on it for a long time when I was reading it. <laughs> I was reading it for a long time. It's a long, long web novel, but it's really, really good. Um, anyway, I was reading that and, oh yeah. Yes, that is correct. Somebody was saying reading manga with non-neurotypical people is quite something. And somebody else was like, isn't the word for that neurodivergent? I'm like, yep. <laughs> that's that's what we'd be neurodivergent we're not not you we're just something else it's just uh, it's a political correctness thing okay don't get mad about political correctness all the time but like it's important to an extent right you gotta not offend people sometimes you know people go too far with it but i think that largely a lot of people go too far in hating political correctness um anyway that's a different topic I was reading Azerinth Healer, and uh, it's not done yet either. I have to get caught up. Anyway, they had a they had a crossover with some other manhwa, or not manhwa, uh, other web novel on the uh, on the site, and I was like, hey, this looks like really cool. Like the crossover was really really well done, and I really liked it. And then I went and read, dear God, okay. Then I went and read it on the uh, on the other side, and I'm just like. I can see why people would like it, you know, but it's it's not like the writing style is just it's not for me. Can't get behind it, man. Which was sad because I really loved the way that uh, 
the author of Azeroth Healer wrote it. <laughs> um, they wrote it in a, in a very nice way. I really like their writing style. And uh, the other author didn't write it in as good a, good a style. So I was like, I don't know. It looked really good until I read the way that they were writing it. And I'm like, I don't know. I still, I still like the idea behind it. And I can definitely see why people read it. It's just, uh, for me, it was a little bit too choppy. It was a little too... Uh, Brunt, I guess. I like a little bit more nuance in my writing, you know. And it didn't—it didn't really have that. It was—it was very specific. Like this happened, this happened, this happened. I'm like, you know, if you're gonna enjoy a story that kind of goes through like that and and uh, kind of piece together the the uh, nuances of it yourself, more power to you. You know. But uh, for me, no thank you. I was like, where did my pink dot go? I don't have my pink dot. I don't have I don't have my pink dot though, is the thing. That is correct. This does look like a good this is a really good prestige weapon actually. Like if you look at it. Can you see it? There we go, look at that. This is a good prestige weapon, dude. Apparently, I've, I've gone on about the um, the blood is thicker than water saying like a number of times. Um, being like, I don't know, it gets used to say that uh, you know your family's important. You know, stick stick to your family rather than your friends when uh, when an emergency happens or whatever. Um, and people are kind of like misusing it now, and it's like I get how it changes over time and stuff, but it still just kind of like annoys me because it just like completely. Did a 180. Apparently, there are two sayings that are about the blood being thicker than water. There's the one that I thought was the original, which is the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. Um, but then there's also just blood is thicker than water, which which means you know about the whole um, like family thing. So they're they're just two sayings from two different places. That happen to be exactly the same. That are still used in modern day use, and uh, just just happens to to be very similar. I always thought they were uh, that that one was a butchering of the other, and that kind of annoyed me. It still annoys me to an extent, but uh, I, I learned that apparently they are just completely different phrases from completely different origins, which is neat. I suppose. So I don't have any reason to be mad about it. I don't need a reason to be mad. I'm perfectly capable of being mad without reason. Okay, I can be unreasonably mad too as well. It's okay. I'm not going to complain. You're going to complain? Probably, right? But I'm not, and I'm the one that's mad, so deal with it, dude. I don't care, man. Like, what, what are you going to do about it? Not watch my videos, please don't do that. That's gonna, I can't handle that. Anyway, read Azure and Thiele. That's really the main topic for today. It's great, I love it. I gotta get caught up though. I don't remember where I was even. Anyway, bye.